Okay, in this video I'm going to show you how to do something called a paint by number. It's kind of like a logic puzzle and it's something you can do for extra credit in this class. Uh, just come into class, ask me where they're located and I'll show you. I have a whole bunch of them printed off for you. The whole objective is to fill in the boxes so that you can make a picture out of, um, out of the boxes. So you're going to fill them in in a particular order. It's kind of like a logic puzzle trying to figure out which boxes should be filled in. The numbers in each row or column tell you the groups of boxes that should be colored in together. So this first one tells you that there should be a group of three, a space, a group of one, a space, and then a group of five. And what I do is I fill in the outside row for kids so you kind of have somewhere to start. So here's my group of three, my group of one, and then my group of five. So if those guys are already there, it means I can't put anything in these boxes. Otherwise it won't match up with my three, one, five. And so what I do when I'm doing these is I put a little dot just so I remember that those boxes cannot be filled in. So moving down to the next row, it says that there should be a group of one, a group of three, and then a group of three. And I don't know where those should go in here. The only clue I get is that the last box is filled in. And if that's true, then that must be my first group of three there. So I'm going to fill in two more boxes. And I'm going to put a dot. So I kind of took care of this three, and now I'm just trying to figure out where the three and the one could go, and they could go anywhere in there. Next, I've got a one, four, a one, one, four, two. So again, I know that the last box is filled in, which means it must be a part of my group of two. So I'm going to fill in one more box, and then put a dot, so it took care of the two. Next, I've got a one. That takes care of that guy, nothing to do there. And I do have this box filled in as well, and I'm also supposed to have a group of nine. So this must be my group of nine. So I'm going to fill in nine boxes in a row. And then I'm going to put a little dot at the end of this so that I remember that the other boxes cannot be filled in. So as I start to work this logic in the other way, I don't accidentally fill in boxes that can't be filled in. This one's supposed to be a 161, so here's my one, put a dot. And there's my other one. So somewhere in here is going to be a group of six boxes filled in. I just don't know where yet. Okay? Next row, I don't get any information. Next one, I've got a one. I already have it. Then I've got nine. So I'm filling the nine boxes in in a row. And that's all that's going to be in this row. So then the rest of the boxes are going to have a little dot in them so that I remember that they cannot have anything in them. Next one is a 1-4. I've already got the 1, so that goes there. And then somewhere in here, I'm going to have a 4 boxes in a row. I just don't know where yet. Next, I've got a 3-5-1, no help. A 1-8-1, one, one. so here's the 1. Here's the other 1. And there's going to be an 8 in there somewhere. I lost track of kind of marking those off. The next one is a 10 and then a 1, so that's helpful. My 1 is at the other end, as these go from left to right or from right to left. So then this guy is 10, I have to fill in all of those, and color. And then the rest of this row is just going to be dots because nothing else can be filled in in this row. The 10 and the 1 are all there were, and I have the 10 right here and the 1 right there, so those are done. Next I have a 2, 4, 2, so I can fill this guy in. That's got to be my group of 2 and a dot. This one's a 1, 1, 3, 3, so this down here must be my group of 3. And then a dot. This guy's a 2, 1, 5, and I already said I kind of fill in the outside row, so you know there's nothing else that can go there. And then you turn and kind of work from top to bottom. So now that we've exhausted our left to right, now we're going to work from top to bottom. So again, you know that I've already filled in the outside row, so I can put dots in all these boxes. This guy's going to be a 1. And then it has to be a 2. Well, since there's a dot there, my only option is to fill this one in. And that's my group of 2. And then I'll have a group of 1. I do have a group of 1 right here, but there could be another one right there. Oops, and I just dotted that. Got a little too close with my pen. So I'm not exactly sure how the rest of these are going to work out. This 2 right here, though, has to be this guy. We'll put a dot there. And there's a 1, so that's good. And then I need one, two, three more ones, and that takes care of it. So this guy does need to be filled in. Okay, next row says a two. So I'll start right at the top, filling in my two. Put a dot. And then I'm supposed to have a one, so I can put a dot there because I already have it. From the bottom, I'm supposed to get a one, so I'll put a dot there. 
and then a 2. And since this box is filled in, um, I don't know if I'm going to go that way or this way with my second box, so I'm just going to leave that for now. Next one is a 1 at the top, good there. I got a 3 at the bottom, which doesn't help because I don't know if it starts here and goes up or maybe it starts here and goes, so I'm not quite sure there. Nothing doing on the next one. 15, that's helpful. I'm going to fill in all the boxes. That was a good number to get. Kind of fills in everything for you. Next one is 13, almost as good. 15 is all the way. I already have two boxes crossed off, so that means 13 must use all the rest of them. Trying to hurry here a little bit so this video isn't 20 minutes long. Another 13, good, so I'm filling this in. I'm betting you kind of see how you work this. You just keep going from left to right, top to bottom, filling in as many boxes as you can with what you know, and making sure that each row or column maintains its number of boxes filled in. The next one is 6 and 4. Um, I'm betting these two are going to have to be connected to make my 6 somehow, and then my 4 will be down here, but I don't quite know that yet. This guy is a 1 and a 1, so I've got those two taken care of with the top and the bottom. A 1, 2, 1, 1, no help. There's really no help for the rest of these. And this guy I already know is all filled in, so I'm going to do that. Then I'm going to come back and work it again from left to right. So this is supposed to be a 1, 3, 3. I got a 1, I got 3 and 3, so that means that row is done. So I'm going to fill in dots. The next one was supposed to be a 1, 1, 4, 2. So if I've got my 2 there, I can definitely fill these in. I don't know if my fourth box will be this one or if it will be this one, so we kind of want to leave that for a moment. Um, next one, 9, 1, we did it. A 1, 6, 1. So if this is three boxes filled in, the most I could go is 1, 2, 3 this way for my 6, so that means these two have got to be blank. 3, 5, 1, I've got one filled in, so that means I can go three here. Filling in two more boxes. I'm going to put a dot there. My next one's supposed to be five, and I've already got three, so I just need two more. And then somewhere in this row, I'm going to have a one yet. I just don't know where. One, six, one. I've got three here, um, and I don't know exactly where this is going to end, so I'm going to kind of leave that one alone for a minute. This one's a one, four, one. If I've already got three filled in, it, already, it means that that one's got to be filled in or that one. So I'm going to X those out because they for sure won't be used. 3, 5, 1, that means I need two more right here. And then 5 means I need two more right here. And then a dot, and there's going to be one more in there somewhere. I'm not really sure where. 1, 8, 1, uh, there's three filled in already. Could go all the five that way, or I could use some this way, so I'm going to leave that. This one is a 2, 4, 2. Well, this definitely is going to be my 4, because I've already got three filled in. And if I need to have two in front of it, it's got to mean these two are filled in so that I can have my space. So then I can fill these guys in. Then that means that's my four. And that means I'm done with that row. A one, another one, and a three. So my one filled in must go right here so that I can have a space before I hit my three. And then I'm done. Going top to bottom again, I've got this row right here, which goes a two, a one, another one, another one, another one, and then a two. So I'm done with that row, or column I should say. The next one it might help to put a piece of paper there so you can see um, and keep track here. But the first one was a one and then a two, so it's got to go this way so that I can have a space before I hit my one, and then a one, and then a one, and then my three. So that one's done as well. This guy's got a 2, a 3, and a 2. Um, I'm not sure which way the 2 will go here, but the 3, definitely I have to fill in all three of these. And then 2, the only box I have left is this one. So I just don't know which way that first 2 is going to go. Um, all these were done. I've got a 6 and a 4. I definitely have to fill in between, because they would have to connect to each other. I can't break up the 6, so that's got to be happening. And then I would have to have a space before I hit the four. So that means one, two, three, four, five. That means my six has to go here. 
Next, I've got a 3 and a 3, and based on all the other dots I've filled in, I know that the 3 has to go here and here. And then this one gets filled in as well. And we're almost done. This guy gets, there's still a 1 floating in here, and it could be in any of these spots, so I'm going to leave that. We're going to work again this way. So I've got a 1, a 1, and then a 4, so I'm done. This row has got a 1 and then a 6, so a 1 and then 6. I'm still not sure which way that could go. This one's got a 3, a 6 and a 1, 3, 6, and then the 1's going to go in here somewhere. Not sure yet. Oops, I missed this. There's 3 here and 3 there, which means I'm done with this row. That helps. And I just have a 1 yet to figure out. Okay. Um, a 1, 6, 1. What other row haven't we done here? I've got a 3, a 5, and a 1. Could be either box. Here's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So I can fill that in and then put a dot. That helps. Going back this way then in this row, I've got a 1 at the bottom and then another 1. So I'll put a dot there. And then a 2. And the only two boxes left are these two guys. So I'm done with that row. Um, working this way again, I've got a 3, a 5, and then a 1. So I'm done. And then a 1, a 6, and then a 1. So I'm done there. And then a 3, a 5, and a 1. This is the last box that's a possibility. And there we go. And if you... Oops, I missed this one right here. Let's see whether anybody comes back to Hold on, I'm videotaping. Hold on. This right here spells moon, M-O-O-N, and then you can see this moon shape right here. So each one that you do is going to kind of come up with a different picture. And you just got to follow your rules of logic, work from top to bottom and then left to right, and then just keep filling them in.